Welcome to a video summary of the Yamaha RX-A1040 AV receiver. You can read the full in-depth review via the link in the description. The A1040 is a mid-range, end-of-line, 7.2 channel AV receiver, which is now available at bargain prices for those not interested in Dolby Atmos or DTSX processing. The chassis is a traditional design, with an input dial to the left of the aluminium front panel and a volume knob to the right hand side. In the centre of the titanium coloured body is a flap under which are more inputs and switches and above this is the digital display. The receiver has a nice weight with the amplifier boards placed either side of the power transformer which is centrally placed inside the unit. Around the back are a full set of inputs and outputs which are configured to make setup easy for all users and knowledge levels. The top row of the back panel contains 7 HDMI inputs. A further HDMI input is under the flap on the front of the unit. There are also two HDMI outs. Also around the back are component inputs and one output, four composite and two outs, along with three coaxial and optical digital inputs and one output for each. And usually we also find a fully ground phono stage for adding a turntable, as well as 7.1 multi-channel inputs and pre-outs for 7.2 channels. Finally, at the back we have the speaker terminals with banana plug access and the plastic guards. The Yamaha RX-A1040 is applied with a rather standard remote control which is typical of an AV receiver at this price point. It follows the design cues of the main unit with a black top third and a silver body. It sits in the hand nicely with all the buttons within reach of your thumb and fingers. There's also a dedicated app which will work with iOS and Android devices and offers the same degree of control. The menu system on the receiver is comprehensive but a little fiddly to get used to. You can control just about every aspect of the receiver's setup with full speaker configuration controls and also access to Wi-Fi, internet radio streaming, Spotify Connect and your NAS drive. The Yamaha A1040 turns in a superb performance with multi-channel movie soundtracks even when used with hard to drive speaker loads. It can create an enveloping sense of scale to soundtracks and yet it manages to pick out fine details even in very noisy action scenes. Dialogue is always front and centre and easy to understand with bass frequencies also handled with authority. It may be the end of the line for this receiver, but if Atmos and DTS-X are not important to you, you might do well in sourcing a Yamaha A1040 at a very reasonable price, and it comes highly recommended. You can read more reviews at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also watch more video at avforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.